Right on, that's cool. Alright, uh, so starting soon, zero. I guess I should probably go to the the whole idea of starting soon, huh? What? Why would you do that? Alright, guys. Oh. Hey, what's up, there? It's time. Oh, wow, look at, you got, you got a fangirl, you got fans already. <laughs> is this trivia? Is, oh, is the trivia just the contenders? Uh, no, it's for the contenders only, but I'll read out the question out loud. Um, but hello, everybody. Welcome to Boss Fight. I am your- oh, it looks like Auto Jack is here. Fantastic. Um, oh, yay! Good, he's, he's here in time for trivia. So, welcome to Boss Fight, hosted by myself, Friday Witch, and with my co-host, Mr. Morn. Hello. Hello. I heard you like popcorn. I do like popcorn. I'm still waiting for that to get approved, but I love it. So, if you like, if you like um, for whatever reason you happen to actually think my co-host is, is rad, you can follow him here. And if you don't like him, you can go over there and say stupid stuff in his chat until he bans you. Um. <laughs> I have never banned anyone who was not a spammer. Like, well. as in advertising spammer. So, hey, you guys can make me change that. Yeah, exactly. The keyboard is apparently broken, yet you typed a full sentence. <laughs> Pebcag, lol. What up, Mingus Butt? And uh, also, we have an OST that is in the works. We have two songs for it right now, so far, and more will be coming, you know, whenever his life allows, because he does have a full time job and a family. And he just hosted me. Thanks for the host, Scab. So, bear that in mind. Um, the OST is slowly coming, but that is by Scab Russ, who sometimes is a contestant on here. You're making a joke about your misspelling. How dare you? You shouldn't misspell stuff. Think of the English. Yeah, think think of those think of those those words and how they feel. Maybe that one was just born misspelled. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I'm saying shit like that. Yeah, wow, that that is surprising. Oh man, that's fucking great. <laughs> so. Before I get started, um, I'm gonna I'm doing this new thing where I seed the brackets based off of a trivia question. But in order for that to happen, I need all of my contestants in the audio. Um, so automatic jack, can you hop in audio? I'll make sure that your bracket is second if you need that to go set up. Um, if you need to get set up a little bit since you just got home. But if you could hop on the audio so we could do the trivia question at least, that's fine. Scab with them. The shots fired. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, 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 What Sorry. did that desk do to you? <laughs> it was there for me to drum on. Oh, okay. So, I'm not gonna give... Um, Jack was running a bit behind and I'm not gonna give him any crap for it because I literally overslept from my own game show last week. So, um... <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. I'm not gonna give him any crap for it. I wanna thank everybody for, um... This would be a great time for you to tweet out the broadcast. Um... If you want to. Um, so, now that everybody's in here, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post in the boss fight t uh, chat channel of my Discord. Uh, here. I just typed the word here. I'm gonna post in here a trivia question. Um, God damn it, Wolfie. <laughs> and so, when it's posted here, I'm going to need all of you, as quickly as you can, to post the answer to the question now. It's going to be multiple choice. The choices will be numbered. Um, they'll either be numbered, like, you know, 1 through 5, whatever, in order. Or if I'm referencing a numbered series, like, let's say if I had said Final... If your choices were Final Fantasy 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, or 13, then your numbers would represent the game in the series, just so it's not so confusing. 
but how it's gonna work is the first correct answer gets the first seed, and then I process the seeds in order of the correct answers and the order they were placed in. And then I go by how fast the incorrect answers were for the rest of the seeding process. So it's fastest answers of the correct answers get in, and then the fastest answers of the incorrect answers get in. Um, is everybody ready? Because I'm going to post the, the, the uh, trivia question at the exact same... I'm going to post the trivia question in the chat, and you guys will have that time to read it and answer it. Is everybody ready? I'm ready. Yep. Ready. Totally ready. Okay. Uh, i got to format this differently. Reggie. And then I will also be reading this out to the chat, um, and the answers to the chat, so the chat can the chat can play along after everybody else has had a chance to read the uh, question. All right, guys, trivia question in three, two, one, go. I'm gonna let answers go through first. Damn it. <laughs> Wait, where is it? What was that, Nikki? Where is the trivia Oh, it's in the Game Room Boss Fight channel. You know, I'll read it out because everybody else has answered at this point. And also, nobody. Um, well, I'm not gonna say that yet, but everyone else has answered it so far, so I'll read it out loud at this point here. Um, I w and you can just answer it verbally. I was so traumatized by the scene in Shovel Knight where Shield Knight sacrifices her own light just to allow Shovel Knight to escape. Because of this, I have a really, you know, I can't play games where I have control of a shield. If this actually were the case, which Mega Man game on the list would be the only safe game to suggest to me? Um, and on the list were Mega Man's 2 through 6. Nikki is the only person to get that correct. Jack realized that he that they typed the incorrect answer after they posted it because Mega Man 2 has a leaf shield in it. Um, yeah, the speedrun only uses it for like two screens, so I forget yeah. it exists. So, <laughs> the, the answer to the question was Mega Man 3. There's no shields in that one. Mega Man 2 has the leaf shield. Mega Man 4 has the hell wheel. Mega Man 5 has the star shield thingy. I forget what it's called. And I know Mega Man 6 is Plant Man has some kind of shield, and I don't know what that's called either, but... Um, so there you go, and, uh, we now have brackets. Let me go ahead and get this set up here. And so that puts Nikki in seed number one, Jack in two, Tokyo in three, and Woofy in four. Yay. I'm gonna move names around. Um, just so you guys are aware, Nikki, you'll be connecting as player one. Um, Automatic Jack, you'll be connecting as player one. Uh, Tokyo and Wolf Boy will be connecting as player two. And the first game will be Nikki and Wolf Boy, which I'm getting set up for right now. Set up. See, I wanted to initially have this set up prior, but now that I have the seating determined prior to the match, I don't have that luxury anymore. Alright, so let's get started. Um, let's see here. So, uh, whenever you are able to, I'm sure you're working on it right now, Wolf Boy, if you'll connect to player two. And, ooh, that's another thing I forgot to grab. Man, I tried to be all ready for this. I tried. I tried so hard and got so far. And in the end, it didn't even matter. Because... I don't have my challenge list ready. <laughs> Good thing I muted the mic. I had to cough real bad. <laughs> oh, you can cough straight into everybody's ears. So we have a new contestant here. Um, with boss fight, 
which I'm super excited to introduce to you all. Nikki! Nikki, while Hello, I'm getting Nikki. set up here, um, why don't you literally tell everybody about yourself, what you do with your channel, anything else you want to shout out. You, you have got a minute and you've got the podium. Alright, what's up? My name is Nikki Popin, and I have been playing retro games, like, forever! Forever. Um, yes, forever! <laughs> because I'm forever years old. Um, so, I started streaming, like, about a year or so ago. I started off with all my original consoles, my Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, I soon added my Sega, and, uh, hey Scabras! Oh, um, hold on, I need to turn that off. <laughs> I started off with all my cartridges in my collection. I collect retro games, and then I soon expanded to Ever Drives, and my streams is all about learning games that I haven't played before and replaying games I've played in the past and just having a good time. Awesome, 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 awesome. Fantastic. We have Woofy. Hi, Woofy. Uh, hoy. Hoy. A returning contestant from before. Um, I'm going to link his channel even though he doesn't really broadcast right now. Um, if you end up enjoying his company, you can give him a follow just in case he decides to broadcast in the future. He's capable of it, so I you am. never know. So tell everybody, what's up? Uh, I don't stream much. When I do start streaming, I plan on streaming whatever I feel like playing at the time. Because <laughs> I, I, I want to stream because I want to have fun, not because... Oh, I want to be super popular. Super popular. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, what I've done is I've just handed everybody out some credits. Um, credits are free, you get them at the beginning of every episode, and also right before each boss fight. And what these are for is for betting on who you believe is going to take this, uh, take this victory home. So, I'm getting that set up right now. Actually, in the meantime, I'm going to give you guys both your, um, game lists. Um, each of you, um, message back to me in Discord. I'm PMing you the game list. Um, it's sorted by system. Um, you message back to me which game you want to play for this round. And in the meantime, I will get the bots set up. The moment you try to type and you're actually muting yourself. Yeah, Nikki, post that one, Woofy, post that one, pay out 100%, start the betting. And I will stop the betting when the game starts up, or once we get started. Um, we're going to go in alphabetical order, and the first game we're going to play is Sonic the Hedgehog. It's going to be our first game for the night. Let me get the challenge. The challenge is going to be first to 75 rings wins, but we're going to load save state number one because it's going to start you in the starlight zone, not in um, whatever the wuss green hill crap. Green hill zone. Yep. Um, if for whatever reason we take more than five minutes to do this, whoever has the highest ring count at the five minute mark will take it. Um, you're not audible, Morn. Yeah, Morn. Um, once. Let me let me let, let me try one thing here really quick. Say something more. Try restarting Discord. Wolfie, why are you betting against yourself? Because that's what you do? <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> okay. 
This way, even if I lose, I still win. <laughs> Hello? Test? There you are. Hey! You, you, yay! Oh, good! I yeah, no, to, like, if I'm rude, things. I'm not going to intentionally be rude to you. I was sitting here trying, like, I'm sitting here wanting to explain, because you haven't really covered well for the new people what is actually going to happen. I was going oh, to yeah. do an explanation of it, and then I'm like, you started interrupting me, and I'm like, what? Why? Oh! Yeah, I'm sorry. That 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 no. can't have felt good. No, I'm like, wow. So you mind? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you want to, go ahead. Sure. All right. So anybody who's new, what's going to happen here is this is a four-person retro game tournament. Each player is given a list of games uh, for their bracket, and each player chooses a game from that list that they think they have the advantage in, or that they think the other one might lose at. Um, these games have challenges associated with them, and each player competes to complete those challenges. The winner moves on, and the loser goes home. And at the end of that, we have a single winner, and that winner fights a boss. The boss for these pilot episodes is, of course, Friday, our wonderful hostess. And the challenge list for Friday is a one-game challenge. The challenge is chosen by the contestant, but the games are all games that Friday has weighted towards herself. It is a difficult boss fight. And if you win that, in a future episode, if you choose, you may come back with your own game list and be a boss on your own terms. Yep, that's the game. That's the show. And so how this is going to work is it's going to be a best of three, and the first challenge is Sonic the Hedgehog, 75 rings, a 75 ring race on Starlight Zone. Um, so without... Any further blabbering? Uh, Nikki, are you ready? Never. Never? <laughs> no, I'm ready. <laughs> so you're as ready as you're gonna be? As ready as I'm gonna be. Alright, Woofy, you ready? Ready. Alright, on the count of, um, we'll go 3, 2, 1, go, and on go we'll start, and it'll be 3, 2, 1, go. So this will be interesting, because I'm starting them good way through the game. Um, right. But the goal isn't to, like, beat the level or anything, it's to just get 75 rings. So we'll see how they go. We'll see how oh this no, works out. Oh no, I missed two rings already. Well, that's oh, okay. I lost a bunch. <laughs> you know what, if you're gonna get hit, getting hit before you have 10 rings is probably better than getting hit when you have 65. That's um, true. No, Jack, one other person um, won. Yep, I've actually been beaten, um, again, by Lazarus DS. He beat me in Batman. Yep. These two people who, as I recall, are close friends, and they've both got a win over Friday. Yep. Oh, Nikki dives in the pit, but then again, Woofy uh, apparently died also, because he's back to... He's back at the beginning of the stage as well. So, Nikki, that death was not the end of your end of your chance here. Oh, God. <laughs> you're, you're only five rings behind, so... It's still anybody's game at this point. No! No! <laughs> you both died at the same time in the same spot. Take three! Since this is a timed one, um, if you need to reload state at any point, you're welcome to. Generally, game over is an instant loss, but if it's timed, then I'm fine with the uh, with a state reload. You're probably gonna need it here, yeah. Yeah. Like you guys have zone. three minutes and 20 seconds to go, so still plenty of time. Man, this is a little tougher than I expected it to be. Well, it is. I mean, Starlight Zone's a fun world and everything. You know, it's finally we get back to some of the speed after so many levels of just... You can't run because it kills you. Yeah. But it's, it's harder. Son it's like a harder Green Hill Zone. Banana! <laughs> Both of you died at the same time again. See, when I, so I tested all these challenges, right? Um, and eventually, actually, um, if you join my Discord um, and go to my boss fight channel and look at the pinned, pinned posts, you can submit your own challenges for boss fight. It'll be a while before I get to them, but you can submit challenges for boss fight because we're going to need more because so far this, is a one per this has been a one-person job and it's already starting to get a little stale. Um... So yeah, we're gonna need some new challenges soon from, and I'm not the all-knowing oh, retro queen. 
I don't see how many rings you both had, but you both just lost a whole jillion of them. <laughs> yes, they did. Um, but yeah, we can su definitely suggest more challenges, but I played this one through. Um, because I'm very familiar with the zone, I managed to pull the 75 rings in like 30 seconds. Um, but I'm also very familiar with this zone. Um, it was my favorite zone to play when I was a kid on Sonic the Hedgehog 1. And I always use the stage select code to start here. You can use stage select code just where you want. I can't seem to keep my rings at all. It's okay, neither can Wolfie. Oh, banana! <laughs> See? <laughs> this isn't Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> at least I'm not having to worry about like, uh, espresso tokens. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh man, that's great. This is maybe a bit too up for your standard come in fresh player. Um, if they would stop running so fast, <laughs> that's what's what killing them. Is they're is running too Sloan fast? Sonic Rodriguez, the mouse. It's Sonic. Well, no. Sonic speed. You can go a little slower. Um, so I'm going over. I I can get a list. I think I think soon I'll go ahead and release the list of, of existing challenges. That's actually something that would help people if I'm asking for people to make more challenges for them to see the existing list would actually be really helpful. Also give people a chance to practice the various challenges. Thing is, that's what I I kind of didn't want, but on the same token, you know, that's fine. Um, by the way, guys, you have 27 seconds, and you both are under 10 rings, so it's still anybody's game here. <laughs> I don't think I stand a chance. <laughs> oh, poor Nick. Oh. oh, man. Oh. Uh-oh. Unfortunately, we... Oh. We've got five seconds. Four, three, two, one... Woofy takes it 40 to 27. Yay! Good job! That was, that was tough. Originally this was 50, but I thought 50 was too easy. And the reason why I, I stopped it from being 50 was at the very beginning, if you get a full speed run, you can roll through the first wall on the right, and there are like 40 rings down there. Oh! I did not look at that. It's very oh, much oh, yeah. a... The kind of challenge I would be good at, because it is a challenge about knowing the level layout and playing yeah. play how Sonic works. The idea is that someone who's not played the game before can still function and jump around and have fun, but someone who, who has played the game and knows the level would have been the person to select it, and then by selecting the game, they've given themselves the advantage. So, with that being said, uh, Woofy, um, which hat or which wizard hat? Which hat. Okay. One second, I gotta find them. Actually, I was gonna turn on the music. Okay. Which hat should be? Yep, it's exactly where I thought it was. Let's scale that down. That's huge. And let's rotate it to the left. <laughs> uh, I would be down for that, except it's very, very RNG based, and we'd have to have a safe state at the Starman base. <laughs> Uh, I would not want somebody to be starting from freaking Fall of the Meteor trying to rush to Sword of Kings. No and thank you. I approve. Uh, um, no you don't. Sung <laughs> over. Um, the two times that Tet Tetris has shown up, it's been a B-type, uh, Finnish B-type race, and it's actually been a struggle for our contestants. Um, yeah. um. So, um, that being said, uh, we'll, let's go to, uh, Woofy's got his win, as de designated by the hat on his name. We'll go to Game 2. Game 2 is Uniracers for the Super Nintendo. This is one we haven't seen on the show yet. Oh, I haven't even played it. I, I added it's... it to my collection of stuff uh, for my, uh, Raspberry Pi, but I haven't... Uh, it's a good hidden way. gem game. After this round, Friday, we should probably use the arena you set up. I should probably what? Use the arena you set up. Oh! Oh yeah! Honestly, at this point, that was because I had eight people. Since I only have four contestants now, do you feel that this is not- do you feel that the arena is necessary? No, 
With eight people, it would have been too many cooks in the kitchen, but with only four contestants? Your call. Do you, uh, well, I'm asking your opinion. You are the co-host. I value your opinion, or else I wouldn't have you. It's it's all about what you want. Do you want there to be like a cordoned off? Hey, only the contestant, the active mm. contestants, and us can talk. Or with four people, do you mind oh. having the occasional crosstalk? Yeah. Or I don't whatever? mind occasional crosstalk so long as it's small. Um, it's good to have an established rule there. Um, so the challenge for Unicycles is simple. What we're gonna do is you'll go ahead and start the game. Choose your unicycle, um, whichever one you want. There's no difference aside from colors and names. And um, then we'll go to, uh, we'll choose Crawler and choose Bowl. Um, what this is, is it's literally a bowl. It's like a half pipe. So Crawler, then Bowl, it's literally a half pipe. And the goal is to get the most, the most points as possible. Um, I will give you guys three tries, um, three attempts to get the highest score you possibly can. The highest score will take it. Um, the reason for this is, one, this game is a little weird to get used to at first, um, so someone who hasn't played it before can get a couple tries before giving it an honest shot, and two, because Bowl doesn't last very long and I would like for this to last a little while. Um, Nikki, have you played this before? Never. Okay. So, you're gonna be in a half pipe, um, and left or right will move your unicycle left or right, and the various buttons on your controller, whether it's L, R, Y, X, or, you know, A or whatever, will do various tricks. You only get points for the trick if you actually land on the wheel. Like, if you land on the seat of your unicycle, then it doesn't count. You have to actually land on the wheel and keep moving um, in order to get your points. And doing the same trick over and over, the, the point will slowly devalue um, if you keep doing the same tricks over and over. So... Like, the first time you do a twist, it might be worth 20, and then the next time it might be worth 12, and then it'll be worth 6, um, and so on and so forth. So you won't get that many points by repeating the same trick a bajillion times. Have you played Tony Ox Pro Skater? Yes. Okay, imagine that, but the controls are a little different, and it's two-dimensional, and you're on a unicycle. So oh, not it's bad a, at all. It's completely a different <laughs> game altogether. It's totally easy. <laughs> it, it, it's like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, but completely different. <laughs> all right. So since you guys, um, so Woofy, you obviously played it because you picked the game. Um, so uh, Woofy, are you ready? Uh, give me a second. Okay. You can select both. The next screen is the race or exit screen. Okay. Okay. Now I'm ready. Alright, Nikki, um, are you ready to start and try to learn how to play this game in a few minutes? Ready. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and just go whenever, um, go ahead and just hit, hit race and let's start. Um, because we're not, we're, we're score attacking, it's not necessary that you guys have to be, like, completely and perfectly synced. So, um... Just a heads up, um, Nikki, you really need to use the shoulder buttons in this game. The shoulder buttons will actually help. And you get three tries at this, specifically, so you can figure out how this game works. And also, you can go left, um, as well. This is another one I've never actually gotten. So, Woofy, with, um, doing some flips and rolls... Double flips and Z flips. He's got, he's got a decent amount of points, like right out the gate. Uh, so first one, Woofy takes it at at 74. 74 is the score to beat. Go ahead and start round two. Um, while Nikki gets a hold of the how this works. Okay. And whenever you're ready, just jump into it. 74 is the score to beat. I should add this on my list of games, but then again, I'd be, I'd be afraid of the person who actually is confident enough to pick it. They would crush you. I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty good at Uniracer. My average score on on this particular stunt, is on this stunt screen, is a little over 200. Oh. Oh, no. 
but, you know, racing can be an issue because I don't have all the tracks memorized. If the person actually has the tracks memorized, then I would be screwed. Oh! Tip sound! Oh, shit! Look at this! Crixus with the $20 tip! The alert probably went on the screen, but I didn't hear it. Oh, Nikki pulls ahead of the 117. Holy Ooh. cow. Nikki, Nikki is not joking anymore. She's like, I got this now. I got this. You get one more try? Woofy, you gotta beat 117 or Nikki's current score. And Nikki, this is your last chance to, to extend your lead. Kick it in. Alright. Which uh, one? Bowl or switching? Bowl. We're playing only the bowl. Um, Crixus with a $20 donation. That's super generous and super awesome of you, and thank you. That gets us closer to our goal to get 1080p60. The sudden speed up on. Yeah, she must have bumped um, the fast forward <laughs> button. So this I'm is. Not used to emulators. Yeah, this is an interesting outcome because. Yes. I lost. <laughs> what ended up happening is Nikki beat Woofy on his choice and Woofy beat Nikki on her choice. Which means we get to go to a tiebreaker, which means we get to randomize a game. And it'll be a very short challenge, something that's usually like a minute or two, just to sudden death things out and see who goes on to the next round. Yep, sudden death. That's ex exactly what Morin said. It's going to be a randomly chosen game from a special list um, that's been made specifically to have short, like, minute-long challenges, and I'm gonna have one chosen at random. I have a randomizing- I have a thing that'll help randomize it for me. So, uh, with that being said, um, next game we're gonna fire up is... I'm waiting for it to... On big bucks, no whammies, Big bucks, no, no whammies. <laughs> Thank you! Oh, lol. Everybody in the chat! Alright, <laughs> it's gonna be Dr. Mario. So, Dr. Mario, it's going to be a one-minute challenge. Let me get the timer back up here. And, uh, it's going to be speed high, level 12. Survive for a minute, highest score at the end wins it. If you game over, that's it, so you have to survive the full minute. It's kind of harsh, I like it. That's sudden death. This ain't no joke. Oh, I, I... Yeah, you're right. That's why you love challenge. it. I have the settings right, right? Um, yeah, you both are on high 12. You can choose your music or not. Um, I'm going to refresh both broadcasts really quick just to make sure I don't have any um, latency and that you guys are synced up properly. Um... Medical malpractice simulator, so true. Um, all right, Nikki, are you are you, are you ready to to start? Um, can you reset, yeah. Nikki? Yeah, I can reset. <laughs> Whoops! I got too excited there. You know, maybe this is a little too much. The virus is in a minute. Um, let's drop it to level eight. All right, I'm still keeping it on high though. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's the hard part. All right, Nikki, are you ready to are you ready to start? Ready to go. Does it look good? Yep. Uh, Woofy, you ready? Ready. All right, three, two, one, go. All right, you guys got one minute to survive. Highest score takes it. Is not lose. Yeah. Help, not losing will also help. Yeah, that's the real. It's really hard to just jump right into high speed on this game. It is. It is. Oh no. Oh no. This doesn't look very good for either player, but it looks like Nikki just ate it. Nikki's Nikki's uh, patient has overdosed. Um, that does mean that. Story. 
Woofy does get to advance to round two, just by mere fact that he hasn't killed his. I well, he just, just now killed his patient. <laughs> his patient is now dead. <laughs> Well, you know, when you're trying to cure a disease by throwing pills down the guy's throat, he's like, he just got forceps. I imagine Dr. Mario's just got like a toad laying out somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom. He's got forceps holding the guy's mouth open. It's just chucking those pills down there. <laughs> and now he's shrugging. <laughs> Automatic like, Jack with the... You have no idea what happened. Here's the thing. He's not actually throwing him into a patient. He's throwing him into a bottle filled with three different viruses. <laughs> see, all their viruses mixed in one bottle. Well, see, that's a visual representation. Uh, Nintendo censored what it really was. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, uh, in this case, Wolf Boy advances to uh, round two. Um, Nikki? Um, any... Good job, Wolf Boy! Thank you. It was, it was fun playing against you. And uh, anything, awesome. any last shout outs, any, any last shout outs, anything else you wanted to, to blab out, blab about Nikki while you were still here? Hello everybody, <laughs> and I hope you're having an awesome evening, and cheer on the rest of the players! Let's see who wins tonight! Good yeah. luck to everybody! So Nikki Potent takes that one. Uh, Wolf Boy advances to uh, round two. I just got the brackets fixed here. So, let's go ahead and pay out our winners for those who vet on Woofy, which is nobody. Man, I was actually thinking Nikki might have gotten that after after pulling back and Uniracers. Don't bet a house on me. <laughs> uh, oh, and did Dr. Mario separates the, you know, the wheat from the chaff, I guess. A hard game to just dive into and surviving for even a minute on high yeah. speed, even with only a few viruses, is rough. Yeah, it absolutely is rough. Alright, so next up is going to be Automatic Jack and Tokyo Scarab. Um, we'll need you, um, Automatic Jack on player one and Tokyo Scarab on player two. Um, Nikki and Woofy, if you are still broadcasting to the server, please disconnect so they can connect. I just stopped. Connecting. And let's get betting started for these two, and then we'll get some shout-outs. Let's see. Automatic. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. In a moment. Place your bets. I'm almost done setting this up. I've added the options. There you go. And, um... You know, I probably should have had this scene set up ahead of time, and I didn't, because I'm a genius. Aren't I great? I'm like the best. <laughs> are just like I don't know how anybody could be as just on top of things, you know? Yeah, I'm always oversleeping and never have this stuff ready on time. And and uh, oh yeah, I gotta change colors of these borders. No, I did I did label the borders so it was easy for me to identify them in X Split. So I'm actually already on that one. Needs more green to it. And took you had said blue, correct? Uh, cyan. Cyan. But yeah. <laughs> I wanted to forget because sword tech is awful. Oh yeah, because it Matt, it's the other color in your in your name is all the one color in your branding. That's right. That makes sense. I see. If I'd have thought about that, that would have been great. All right. Awesome. So we've got Tokyo Scarab and Automatic Jack. Uh, Tokyo Scarab is new to boss fight. Welcome, glad to have you. Um, go ahead and shout yourself it's out, you're on camera. It's good to be here. Uh, um, my name is Tokyo Scarab, I do a variety, a variety caster here on Twitch. Uh, stream anything from speedrunning to uh, casual retro newer games, uh, live oil painting, live uh, music, uh, computer programming, just about anything. Uh, probably done on stream before. Uh, I, I'm not good at this. <laughs> no, okay, well that's fine. That's fine. That's alright. He's a broadcaster. He's been one of my favorites. One of mine for... Both of these, actually. Both of these two casters. I followed them really early in my time here on Twitch. They've both been on Twitch for at least three years. Um, and they're both 
two of my favorite casters. I, I, these guys are great. You should follow both of them. Uh, the other person is Automatic Jack, who um, is a returning contestant. Shut yourself out if you want. I play video games on the internet. Did you guys know you could do that? What? what? Wait, wait, really? Yeah. Oh, wait. Is, I don't know. Really oh, I didn't get you guys... up an account somewhere. Didn't get you guys it's game hard list. to do. You gotta go through Ustream or Livestream, and it's really hard. But... Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Great. I only... That was... That was like 10 years ago. Never mind. Wrong century. <laughs> I mean, decade. I, I would... my, my, my dog only watches me play games. This will be interesting. Did you hear there's a, there's a program you can use to record your screen and play, the, video, play the video back? A v what? That works? VCR? I've always wondered about that. It's like, it's like a VCR, right? Yeah, I think so. Heard about this exciting new technology called Hypercam, and... <laughs> oh god! Why would you say that? <laughs> because I'm a comedian who wants to entertain an audience. <laughs> you ever heard of that shit called Fraps? Oh my god, What what's this? I don't know, my computer can't run it at all, but it's apparently it's pretty awesome if you got the beefy strength for it. Oh man, <laughs> this is a very interesting list against these two people. I already pretty much know it's going to be picked, and it's going to be really funny because it's going to end up in a tiebreaker. Um, Alright, I'm going to whisper you guys your game list. Whisper me, or PM and Discord. Um, Discord PM me back your choice, and we'll get this started. Oh, oh my god. West. You know exactly what. I know exactly what you're picking, and I think I know what Toga's picking. <laughs> oh, 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 that's not what I was thinking he was gonna pick. What Toke was gonna pick. But it's so much more fitting. Instead of a close game, it's probably just gonna be a stomp in the face. <laughs> Alright then. I'll just say this. I thought Me I thought Tokyo was gonna pick Mega Man X because he's a Mega Man X. He does some speedruns of the game and is also the creator of the Mega Man X randomizer. But he didn't pick Mega Man X. I did not. First game we're gonna play is Mega Man 2. Oh boy. I'm hype. Uh, this is not my favorite Mega Man, but it's right behind Mega Man 3. Challenge is gonna be first to defeat a robot master. Go ahead and get on the stage select screen on um difficult, please. I'm presuming you want difficult. Well, the challenge actually calls for normal. Um, oh, then, um, then I'm dumb. You should do normal. But these two are good enough to do difficult, but I'm gonna let them have normal because that's and how the challenge is. I don't want to keep changing too many things on the fly because I keep doing that and it's gonna start making things. I don't know. I don't want to take too many liberties whenever I take the time to calculate out a, a challenge. The only real difference is on difficult enemies take half damage. Mm. No, actually on normal they take double damage. <laughs> so we're okay, yes. on stage select? You yeah, know, go ahead and choose normal and get on the um, st yeah the stage select screen with eight robot masters. Uh, it's going to be the first to defeat a robot master. And, um... If you game over, it's an instant loss. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close the betting as soon as the game starts, so you guys have a little less than a minute to get your final bets in. Um, Automatic Jack, are you ready? Yep. Uh, Tokyo Scarab, are you ready? I believe so. Alright, three, two, one, go. Alright, on my feed, Tokyo Scare is about two seconds behind. I'll keep that into account. Um, but Jack has chosen Flash Man and. Uh, Tokyo to Metal Man. Metal Man. Who would you have gone Friday? Uh, me? I. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't like Mega Man 2 very much. Um, well, I assume you tested this challenge, so. I, honestly, I don't have to test the Mega Man ones because if it's first to beat a robot master that's pretty simple um, i suppose so um i've played all i've Quick played Man. them all to know that beating a robot master shouldn't take more than five minutes you'll either game over or beat the robot master before five minutes is up in most cases 
Uh, yeah, because I play the level so often, I would probably go for the, uh, you know, just right. the really nervy, like, confident option, and I would just go right for Quick Man, because if you get through those lasers, and Quick Man so, takes double damage from the Mega Buster, so he would be taking four bars on normal. So, funny story, Automatic Jack is already at Flash Man's door. <laughs> Flash Man also takes about four per shot, too. Yeah, yeah, and so this dude real fast. if you want to watch Flashman get completely demolished, it's a, yeah, it's pretty much about to happen. Rex, time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind on the feet. I don't care. That yeah, that was beautiful. Well done, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Flashman and Quickman are the two kind of like let's just get this over with for you know ways to play it out. All right. I never played a lot of Mega Man too. I guess you want the witch hat, don't you? I played entirely too much Mega Man 2. And yes, the witch hat for life. Alright. I, I was witch a Mega Man 1 person. I love Mega Man Alright, so I thought Tokyo Scare was going to pick Mega Man X, but he didn't. He picked Tetris Attack. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. What's Jack, Tetris have you Attack played Tetris Attack? Is that Super NES? Yes, yeah, Super NES. Mm -hmm. have, have you played Tetris Attack? I don't think I I've ever played it. Yeah, I there's gonna be this is it. gonna be a sudden death match. Um, <laughs> there's gonna be another game after this. Just I kind I'm gonna kind of give Toke his wizard hat right now. I'm just gonna make it like semi transparent. <laughs> that way. Okay, so we so we're doing Tetris attack. Yeah, yeah, you're not. Yeah, your game is next. Semi Tetris attack. And uh, yeah, you you I'm. It's... Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. Automatic Jack speedruns Mega Man 2. Tokyo Scarab speedruns Tetris Attack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's no, I'm the... back, yeah, I've never seen this game before in my life. Oh. What's the challenge? <laughs> oh yeah, there's a challenge for that. Duh. Um, it's pretty <laughs> simple. Time trial. Um, if both players can't agree on level or difficulty, it'll be on level 20 normal. Um, best score after two attempts wins. This way Jack has a chance to play around, figure out how the game works, and then try on round two to actually get some points in. It's like Yoshi's gonna teach me how to do it. I teach you how to do Douglas, Yoshi. He does it. Douglas. He does do that. Um, I'm, I'm down for, for normal. Yeah, I have it set on, yeah, I was gonna say, level 20 normal is if you guys can't agree on a setting for speed. Um, I mean, honestly, I'd be willing to even, like, half that, um, Ooh. I don't know, whatever is, whatever's good. I'm still learning how to play the game. I'm, I'm learning this I'll game, let, I did not know. I'll let, I'll let Jack finish watching the tutorial here. Dangerous. Now it's time to teach you about combos and chains. Oh man, Tetris Attack is a great game. You're absolutely right, Scab. It's a good game. Yeah, it's probably one of my favorite sweet. puzzle games. I'm probably gonna. This is probably my new favorite game. This looks pretty random. Yeah, no, Tetris Attack is great. There's actually something that you might like, Jack. Um, when you when you decide to play this again. If you decide to play this again in the future, there's a puzzle mode where it gives you a screen full of crap and you have like X amount of moves to clear it all. Sounds good. So you're, you know, you're not, I mean, there's a timer to show you how long you've been playing, but it's not like, you know, it's going to kick you out or you're going to die if you take too long. Um, so you can sit there and take your sweet time. Oh wait, that monkey from Yoshi's Island is in it now. Mm -hmm. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and get the time trial. And um, Toke is offering to just play on level 10 instead of level 20. Um, unlike Tetris, level 20 is actually not like instant death. On 20, that's on this game, 20 is pretty slow. If you one player time trial. Level 10? <laughs> yeah, level 10, game level normal. Um, and uh, it's two attempts, highest score takes it. Um, J uh, Jack, are you ready? 
Yeah. Uh, Toke, are you ready? I am. Alright, go ahead and just start. I don't need a countdown for this one necessarily, because it's timed in the game and it's best up to... Oh, you get to choose your character. I forgot about that. Um, Come on. Oh yeah, problems with him. What's even funnier is... these characters hates me the least? Probably this thing. Raphael the Raven? <laughs> Raph is my favorite. I like, I like the MTG reference, by the way. Was yeah. there an MTG reference? Or MTG Prodigal Sorcerer. Oh yeah. Prodigal uh, Tim, yeah, because he's Tim. Dude, ta tap the do one. Good and toke, whenever you're ready. And uh, yeah. As Fireball is pointing out, both Pokemon Puzzle League and Tetris Attack are um, just themes of a game called Paneled Upon, which yep. is a Japanese puzzle game. So neither of them really ripped off the other, they're the same game. And um, all of you in the chat, thanks for stopping by. Um, if you guys are enjoying it, feel free to, to share, host, whatever. Um, it's definitely appreciated. This is a community thing, and I'd like for it to get big so we can have it just a big community of, of people here. Um, looks like Jack is making some matches. Um, Toke is just killing it over there. Yeah, here's like control control some, movements. Well, okay, I got Toke, a little greedy. Toke got way too greedy and is already out for one game. He's at 962 for that score. Um, oh. Uh, <laughs> I... The delay is 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 horrific oh. <laughs> on emulator. Oh okay. Um, yeah, well, dude, I mean it's, it's just normal much. emulator delay, but. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want to fire up so again, it? um, it's best you get two tr you get two two tries. Based bird, let's do it. Raphael the Raven was always my favorite. The cutest raven ever. And actually, it was a mode 7 headache in Yoshi's Island 2 when you had the boss fight against Raphael the Raven. It was a total... just headache <laughs> of mode 7. I've met some... I've met some... 680 my first score, that's not good. Mm. Actually, 680 for having never played the game before actually is pretty good. Um, it's mm -hmm. not good enough to beat someone who speed runs the game, but... <laughs> hey, I can hope and dream. You can't take hey. that away from me. No. <laughs> I don't want to take that from you. I don't know. Live that dream. What up, Josh? Yeah. Good to see you. It's been a while. Thanks for the host, Syria. And yes, Scab, Tokyo Scarab, you should actually watch him play when he's actually on a console and not on emulator. He's even better. Like, I can tell that he's not playing his best. How you doing, Saria? Oh, I see, it's time. Okay. That's yeah, time trial is... Episode. Yeah, that's that's why you get two chances, because two, two time trials at two minutes each, two minutes each, should be under five minutes. Yeah, you guys totally give Automatic Jack and Tokyo Scarab some follows. They're they're rad. Um, they're two of my favorite broadcasters on Twitch. Oh, um, thank you, Friday. Mm -hmm. I'm occasionally I red. That. I dabble in redness. I'm gonna give you your wizard hat now, Toke. Um. <laughs> uh. Put it here. I don't have a good space to put it on you. Nope. 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 Stop it! I'm trying to move a hat, not Toke's name. Uh, 3277, right second. <laughs> 3277! Come on, Jack, you got like, what, 2400 to go? Thanks, Chris. Oh, I can, oh, that's easy, that's gonna be real simple. Oh man, let's get the sudden death chosen here. Yeah, I can press a button and move it along. Maybe yeah, that's speed, really important. Speed it up a bit. <laughs> yeah, when you clear the screen out, you know, it's good to not have to wait for more pieces. Yeah, that's what got me, is I didn't notice that big tower on the right side. Alright, oh, so Tokyo Scare takes round 
two, or game two of, of, of this, yeah, of this match. That, that, that's what I said. <laughs> so, let's we got fire 744 up. the second time, I'm improving. Right. <laughs> We're going NES, we're going to fire up the original Mario Brothers. Ooh. Mario Brothers 1983? Okay, Super Mario Dude, Brothers, is... not Mario Brothers Classic. Oh my god, I'm going to punch you, I know you... Dude. I, I, I understand, no. it's a separate no. game. Oh, no. No Mario Arcade? Um, I have that, so I, I actually I don't know if I have a challenge for that. I've been wanting to make one for it, though. I mean, um, there there is a Play Choice tin cabinet in my local market. You could, uh, could all gather there. All right, so start thinking about how you guys are going to tackle this, because it's the most coins in one minute. Ooh. I'm going to refresh um, both your I, feeds. I'm going to need a... Uh, 